Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we, not, we need to find the derivative of this function f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 over x squared. And I'm going to use these three rules you see here, the power rule, the constant multiple rule, and the sum or subtraction rule for derivatives. But the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to simplify this expression. I'm going to divide by x squared. And I have here x cubed divided by x squared, that is just x, minus 3x squared divided by x squared is just 3. And the last thing is going to be 4 over x squared, the last term. I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to change the last term in this form using the laws of exponents. So this is f of x. And now I can move and find the derivative f prime of x for this function, which is going to be the derivative with respect of x of x minus the derivative with respect of x of 3 plus the derivative with respect of x of 4 times x to the negative 2 power. So I use that sum and subtraction rule. And now I'm going to use the power rule here. This is x to the first power, which gives us 1. If we use the power rule, x to the power of 1 minus 1, 0, minus, now we, when we move to the second one, the derivative of a constant of a number is nothing else than 0 plus, and now uh, moving to the last derivative, I'm going to use the second rule, the constant multiple rule, so where I'm going to pull the 4 out, I'm going to have the derivative with respect of x of x to the negative 2 power. And uh, we can keep doing the, the derivative, the last part, right? And, uh, but let's simplify here. This is just 1 plus 4. And now the derivative of x to the negative 2 power is negative 2 x to the negative 2 minus 1. So the final form here is going to be 1 minus 8, right? 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 x to the negative third power. That will be a good form. However, we like to have positive exponents. So the form I'm going to write here is 1 minus 8 over x to the third power. And that's it. Of course, this derivative can be done with the quotient rule, which we're going to do it later. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.